Hello and welcome to Forays Tech. This is the HP Notebook 15. It's a mid-range laptop with nearly the same specs as the IdeaPad B330 that I reviewed previously on our channel. We will be seeing if these specs on paper can live up to the mark of a decent budget laptop. From the looks of it, it seems quite like the usual HP budget laptop with all plastic body. The top panel is both shiny and reflective, but the metallic grains adds a bit to its aesthetic. It's prone to smudges, so keeping a soft cloth could be handy. Now at the bottom, we have a thermal vent in the center and on the left. We've got two stereo speakers. Now the internals are easy to get in with four simple screws and the three cell battery is easily interchangeable as well. To open up, there is this little tiny notch extended, but both hands are needed. It weighs a little over four and a half pounds and the hinge seems strong enough to keep the screen from wobbling too much. Although it's all plastic, but in the black body, that hint of silver makes it a little less boring. The entire panel, as mentioned, is made of plastic, but I like these circular waves and this timber texture going on at the interior body. The power button on top left corner is a little too small, but we need to press it once in an entire work session. The full-size Chiclet keyboard from the looks has smaller keys, but the placement is rather convenient. The usual media and function keys are on the top. Travel distance is appropriate, and even at my first typing experience, there has been no key misses or mistakes. So the keyboard has improved and has certainly exceeded my expectations, considering it's a budget laptop. Tracking on this Snaptic touchpad is reasonable, particularly after upgrading the latest driver. But it's a bit too slippery for my liking. I think finishing it with a bit of matte texture would definitely have improved the experience for regular use. Therefore, I prefer to keep my mouse along. I've read posts from people complaining about ridiculous boot times and slow performance. The unit I received came with no windows, which means no pre-installed bloatwares, no antivirus and so on. Once I had the Windows 10 OS installed and have all my hardware recognized, my boot times and system performance had no issues. I then installed the most updated driver released in June from the official HP Sport webpage. Now with these drivers installed, the benchmarks have shown significant improvement in the performance as shown. The 15.6 inch HD LED screen. It's enough bright for working with applications and multimedia. For indoors, I prefer using it on 75% in daytime and 25% to 50% at night. For outdoors, you will have to max the brightness. Viewing angles are decent at this price point. I do watch movies and the display is better than most laptops at this price point. What adds more to it are the two stereo speakers at the front bottom of the laptop. Now, the location is downwards and it's a bit awkward, but with the laptops, I prefer using headphones, which is obviously due Due to an unacceptable quality of sound. These, however, are not bad. There is next to no bass, but the overall sound is mostly clear even at 90% loudness. On my review unit, there is a dedicated 520 AMD Radeon graphics, which works along with Intel UHD 620 as switchable graphics. All of that sounds good, but in practice, this machine is not meant for gaming and will only be able to improve graphics for softwares like Photoshop or maybe Premiere. At the very low settings in windowed mode with VSync off for resolution of 1280 by 70, Fortnite averaged at 38 with a minimum drop to 11 and peak at 62 FPS. So if you're planning to buy a laptop that could give you decent frame rates on high resolutions, then this will disappoint you. The webcam isn't anything special, just enough for making video calls, but the overall experience of the device is good enough. Uh, it has a conventional 5400 RPM, 1TB hard drive, and the 8GB RAM, which to mention isn't expandable. Now, however, the hard drive can be replaced by an M.2 SSD if you like doing so, but I would recommend to check your vendor before placing any orders, a couple of variants going on in the market with the same name. Good thing is we have the DVD optical drive on this right side, which can be useful for students and professionals wishing to write media on their discs. Next to it is an old USB 2.0 port with a card reader 
and Kensington lock, power and drive light indicators. On the left side of the laptop, next to thermal vent, we have an ethernet port along with a HDMI port, two USB 3.1 and a microphone headphone combo jack, along with AC adapter and battery light. Although ethernet port is a valuable addition to most, still we do miss the USB Type-C and Thunderbolt port. Uh, now the prices for HP Notebook 15 starts from around $500, going all the way up to $599. I'm going to be posting a couple of links down in the description with different hardware customizations. A little about the battery. Now from light to medium usage, the three cell battery on this laptop gave me around three and a half to almost four hours. At higher performance and 50% brightness, a bit of music, web surfing, YouTube, Photoshop, this lasted for around two and a half hours. As far as the thermals are considered, the left side of the laptop tends to get warm but nothing that makes it unusable, even after three hours of light to medium usage. This laptop has a conventional 5400 RPM 1TB drive, 8 gigs of RAM which is not expandable. Now I find this surprising, usually this takes a few seconds but here HP has done well with their power to processor management, making it wake up quite faster. So here is the bottom line, the HP notebook is for those who needs a budget driving laptop for daily assignments, a bit of multimedia, surfing, Photoshop, Premiere and Audition as well. So don't expect high frame rates, gaming, quick detail 3D renders, but for anything else below that line, this is a reasonable pick. And the final piece of advice, do get rid of bloatwares and if possible do a fresh install and upgrade to latest drivers from the official store. So there we have the HP flagship notebook. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hit thumbs if you liked the review and subscribe for future reviews and news. Till again, Forest Tech signing out.